Somalia challenge day 21. I'm going to take you through a full day so you can see what my life looks like starting for the level 3 Somalia. It's about 7 o'clock and we're just going to take it from here. So first thing I'll do before I even get out of bed is I'm going to watch at least an hour of Somalia videos. Preferably blind tasting if I can find it. And I'm, I'm feeling the obsession taking over me so it's getting kind of dangerous. Next up, it's going to be 30 minutes to an hour of the Armaster smelling game. It kind of depends on how I feel. It's, it's very intense just sitting down smelling stuff. 88 samples. Yesterday of my blind smelling, I did 37, so it's getting better and better. Still struggle with the uh, different plants and flowers. I have no reference point whatsoever with those, so I struggle with those. Also, there's different types of wood. Uh, it's almost impossible to me to uh, differentiate those. So this is what's up next. Okay, so next couple of hours, I'm going to spend studying. And even though it's a lot of information, I'm not really worried because uh, it turns out the, uh, the memory techniques I learned from uh, a couple of months ago actually applies here pretty well. So for me, as I don't drink wine, I don't have a relationship with any grapes or wines. So say for example, Sauvignon Blanc, it doesn't really mean anything to me. So what I did, I translated this into a person. So this is a friend of mine and he's standing by the reception desk of one of my gyms and he's wearing a, a couple of Ray-Ban glasses and uh, when he does this he's cool and when he removes them he's just moderately cool and that tells me the climate of this grape. He is actually uh, not in a stable condition, he's actually very high so that tells me the, uh, the grape is high in acidity. He smells and that tells me that it's an aromatic grape and uh, he's dressed in actually a steel suit and that tells me he has not seen any oak. So that's how that goes and it applies for every grape and every region that I actually study. I put them into my memory palaces. Okay, so one of the very few breaks today is going to be uh, to the local market. I heard you, uh, you're supposed to go smell stuff, so that's what I'm doing. So nice to smell something that's not synthetic. Back from the market, smelling stuff, feeling like a psychopath. Always end up buying stuff for it not to be as weird. Uh, so, more or less a couple of hours of studying before blind tasting tonight. Okay, so wine tasting time. I hope it's not too busy. See if they can like administer a, uh, a mock up sound for me, maybe. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, back from blind tasting. I did two white and two red, and they did not turn out too well for me. First one, I thought I picked up some butter, some uh, green fruit, some freshness. So my guess was Chablis or Chardonnay, but it was a green of thinner, so in the neighborhood, but not correct. Second one, I thought I smelled petrol, so my guess was uh, Riesling. Where's a three blend uh, wine from Tuscany? I don't even know, remember the other uh, blend. <coughs> I don't know how anyone could get that one. Third one was uh, very easy, it was a uh, Pinot Noir. I thought it was uh, uh, Old World. Well, was Oregon, so again, kind of close, but not really. Third one was a uh, Triga Nacional, or whatever it's called. Really struggled with this one. Got my guess down to uh, Terpanillo, so again, kind of close, but not really. Uh, it's kind of breaking my spirit right now. I'm getting better, but it's it, it feels very long from passing the level 3 blind tasting. Uh, so we'll see what happens. 